I couldn't let QB have all of the fun dressing up. And besides, QC looks so adorable with her freckles and her grape-flavored bubblegum. Hey you, you talking to me? Cause I'm talking to you, and you're freakishly tall. How's it going everybody and welcome back to another episode of Box Boy and Box Girl. Last time was a pretty long episode because after like 9 minutes I did World 6 so I figured it was going to be really easy to do World 7 and then it ended up being like more than the length of some of the other episodes in this series so far. But nonetheless we are going to be hopping into World 8 with QC and we're going to be learning how to do the box leg hop. So the target, the min max, is going to be 10 boxes for this st first stage. So without any further ado, let's hop in. Literally. We've learned the box leg hop thanks to our friend, cousin, whatever, the tall one, Cutie. I really love the attention to detail too, how it was two boxes tall and that's basically what Cutie is, two boxes tall. It's a really nice touch. Anyway, box limit of three on this very first stage and we don't really need to do two, actually we do need to do two boxes, never mind. Alright, so let's go ahead and do that. And then, we can drop this down and it'll allow us to just hop on top and we'll be perfectly fine. Okay, so I think we're gonna need two again, right? Yeah, it looks like we're gonna need... Oh no, I think we're gonna need three. Ooh, okay. Uh, yeah, I'll just do the three if I am over my box limit, then that will be a problem and I'll have to restart, but... We should be okay. Uh, speaking of the box limit, actually, uh, I need to... I need to do... I need to do... this? Will I be actually be able to... No, that doesn't work. I love how the gum pops, too. Uh, also, yeah, I wanted to mention the attention to detail with the cutscenes, also. That's really, really awesome. I like that as well. Uh, okay, so, I need to be able to, well, wouldn't this work? Because I'm above the ground, technically speaking, this should work. Yeah, it looks like this is gonna work. And that was eight boxes out of ten? Okay, so that wasn't too bad. Probably could have cut it down by another one, maybe, maybe two, I'm not entirely sure. That was pretty fun. I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun with the box hop. It's gonna be pretty exciting. Alright, and moving on to stage two, the min-max boxes is 11. Okay, so one above what we just did. <laughs> Shouldn't be too much of a problem, depending on how the box limit is. Box limit of four, so they did up it by one. Oh, and we have the switch targets too, okay. Well, this is gonna be a bit of a problem. Uh, clearly it needs to be three boxes because I can't hit that otherwise, so let's go ahead and drop that down there. Okay, and we're going to be dealing with this again. Oh, this is a problem because it... Oh wait, no, I can get away with three. I can get away with three on this one. Oh, I, I, I can get away with three. I was just a little too far to the right there. Yeah, oh. Wait, what? That's glowing. That was glowing. <laughs> Why didn't it work? Okay, well, whatever. I thought for sure. There we go. Okay, now it works. I don't know why it didn't work the first time, but, you know, whatever. Uh, okay, so I need... I need... 
It needs to be three tall. No, it needs to be four tall. Okay, so then I need to do that to grab the crown, have that be there, and I used one less than I needed to. Perfect. All right, cool. Just had to be sure though, always gotta check. You can never be too safe. Always check to make sure you're under the target. Make sure you're always under the min-max. And there we go. Awesome, rain those medals upon me, yes please. And now we can move on to stage three with the min-max being 14 boxes. All right, let's go ahead and hop in. I love saying the hop pun because this is the hopping world. It's <laughs> I'm not funny. Box limit of five. Oh, this one. Oh yeah, this one's uh, this one's pretty fun. I have to use three boxes here, unfortunately. Yeah, I couldn't get away with two, but it allows us to create the bridge. And now I need, uh, actually this shouldn't be a problem. It shouldn't be. Actually, it is a problem. Okay, never mind. Um. It needs to be five. It... No. It's not five. Oh, um... Yeah, I'm dumb, aren't I? Because then it's this. Yeah, I need to have it be like that. Okay. Alright, so that is nine out... Oh, eight out of fourteen. Excuse me, I thought it was nine. My bad. I got confused because I thought I used four on the first one. I only used three. The box limit of five. Screwing with my brain a bit. Uh, okay, so... This should work? No, it has to be five. It has to be five, but that puts me at 13. Okay, I'm safe. Just had to be sure. That puts me at 13 boxes, there we go. Create the little bridge with the boxes over my head. It hits the switch, it allows me to land safely, and now I can exit through the door. Clear the stage, very nice. All right, there we go. Got all of the targets, uh, all the target medals, I should say. Oh man, the medals were one apart too. You notice that? 51 of the regular ones and 50 targets. That's kind of cool. Uh, anyway, moving on to stage four, the min max is 13 boxes and the double for the single target, uh, it's doubled for the single target being 26, but that's not gonna happen. I'm gonna get it in 13 or less. Guaranteed. I shouldn't have said that because now I probably jinxed myself. Box limit of four. Okay, uh, this isn't too hard. Do I have to do two? I think I have to. Uh, yeah, because I learned I can't do a single box. It sucks, but it is what it is. I wish I didn't have to, but, you know, you, you can't really, you can't really, uh, get away with that. Um... How am I going to do this, though? Because <laughs> I want that crown. Uh... No, it, that's not going to work. Um... I mean, it's this, right? Not necessarily. Uh... How am I going to get this? Okay, I can just put one down and get it. What is that? Six boxes? Okay, I can use... I can use, uh, uh, six? Yeah, or seven. Uh, that's not tall enough, is it? No, it is not, but... Okay, no, I think it has to be three. Unless I take a big leap. <laughs> oh my god, how did that work? <laughs> oh my god! I did not expect- oh, a seven. Uh, okay, so I have five more. I did not expect that to work. <laughs> I really did not. So I have five to use. And it looks like I'm gonna need to do this, and then that, and yep, snakes over to the platform, allowing me to finish the stage with no real issues, other than the little mishap I had, but still finished it in 12 boxes instead of 13, which I did say 13 or less, guarantee. So I did it. All right, stage five, the min max is going to be 17 boxes. And once again, the 
it's doubled for the single box target medal if you were to fail that badly. Hopefully you don't. Hopefully you're using these videos as a guide like all my other box boy <laughs> let's plays. Anyway, let's hop into stage five. And the box limit for stage five is going to be five. Huh, how fitting. All right, oh, oh, this one. Okay, um, should, no, it's not as simple as that. Although, I, no, I think I do need to have it be like this. Yeah, cause I have to, I have to snake around that, okay. That's a little unfortunate. Uh, pretty much the same thing here it looks like. Yeah, pretty much the same thing. That kind of sucks. That takes away 10 boxes already. Oh god, how am I gonna do this? Uh... Actually, is it like so? Did I do it? I think I did it. Yeah, wow. Okay, that was a lot simpler than I thought it was gonna be. There we go, cleared the stage. I love that pose so much, the crossing legs. It kind of seems a little pompous when you think about it, but I mean, QB and QC have a right to be pompous, right? They just completely dominated a stage. So they have a right to pose like that, don't judge them. All right, moving on to stage six, the min-max box is 13, and again, it's doubled for the single target box. Has it been like that for all of them, actually? And I just noticed this? Oh my god, it has. Has it been like that for the other worlds too, or is it just this world? That's a pretty weird coincidence. Anyway, let's go into stage six. If it's also like, actually it'd be pretty funny if in stage seven, the final stage, if they change it up and it wasn't double the first one. I don't know, maybe, maybe that just sounds petty to me, I don't know. Uh, okay, so how am I gonna do this? Because I need to be able to block I need to be able to block the laser, but I also need to jump up. Actually, is it just two? It probably, it's just two, okay. I was overcomplicating that. Uh, although, what isn't overcomplication is this. Um. Uh. Does that even work for me? I don't think, I mean, it, it, I mean, it probably works if I do this, right? No, it does not. Um, do I just do three then? Is that just it? Three? Okay, it looks like it's just three. Uh, all right, you can stay down there, boxes. That's cool. That's five of 13. I have eight to work with. Okay, so obviously, there's this is the only way I can do this one. So that takes away four. Okay. Oh. I need... I think it's just another four again, right? Just this except the opposite way? It looks like that's the case. Alright, uh, so hop up there, hop up there. That doesn't actually even matter anymore. Thirteen? Thirteen! Alright, there we go. We tied the box target, the min-max target, and now we've got all four medals to prove it, since there were two crowns in this world also. That's a uh, pretty, wait, that doesn't even, <laughs> I just tried tying the medals to the number of crowns. Anyway, let's move on to the final stage, stage seven of world eight. The min-max target is 14, and yes, it is double for the single box target medal as well. Has it been like that for every world? Now I'm gonna have to go back and look. That would be pretty cool if it was, and also pretty stupid of me to not notice it until just now. Anyway, let's go into stage seven, the final stage, with our box hop ability. The box limit is going to be five, okay. So pretty much, oh, oh, wait a second. <laughs> oh, how am I gonna do this? Oh boy, um. Uh, actually this should work, right? Yes, okay, that works. So that's four of 14. Okay. Uh, I need to be protected 
on top. And... How tall is that? Is that three tall or four tall? It looks like it's four tall, so I have to actually do that. That doesn't work. Can I reach it from here? No, I cannot! Uh, how am I gonna do this? Do I just drop down and... I guess do this, not use any bot? Okay, that works, I guess. 8 of 14. I'm really conscious about seeing how far away I am from that this time. I don't know why. Uh, okay, so that at least needs to be... Actually, can it... No, I think it needs to be... No, I think 3 is fine, because it's a single jump up. Yeah, it's a, it's a single jump up each time. Okay. So there's that. How many do I have to work with? I have three to work with. Which is fine, but I'll be safe instead of sorry. Instead of doing two and trying to be brave, I think I'm gonna play it safe just to tie it at 14 min-max boxes. And that'll be the end of World 8. All right, there we go. Cleared the stage. Once again, two crowns in this specific stage. Got all four target medals, which means all of the reigning celebration. A couple new worlds have unlocked to us, including World 9, which features fun with warp portals. But that's gonna have to be an adventure for QB next time on Box Boy and Box Girl. Until then, thank you for watching, and I will catch you later.